Good morning. I'm Linda Reinstein. I'm the co-founder of the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization, and I am delighted to welcome you to the first ever Asbestos Film Festival that ADO is working on, and it's entitled enti it's titled Asbestos Art Advocacies and Shared Stories. It's going to be a unique an unusual day, and I think it's going to inspire and empower you to make change happen. So for those of you who I haven't met, I am a mesothelioma widow, and our family has been impacted by asbestos like many of you today. Doug Larkin and I co-founded the Asbestos Disease Awareness Organization back in 2004. We knew that if we blended education, advocacy, and community support, that we could increase asbestos awareness that would lead to prevention, the elimination of all asbestos-caused diseases. We're quite proud of the past 17 years. And while we get started today, you know, for most of you, you know that ADO is on Twitter and other social media platforms. So join the conversation and please use the hashtag that you see on this slide, which is 2021 ADAO. So we can follow your tweets and retweet back and keep the conversation going for the next two days. We have a great program for you. So over these two days, there's actually three events. The obviously the film festival today, and along with the film festival, first time ever, ADA is going to screen a recent press briefing, uh, sorry, a recent uh, congressional staff briefing. So you can see the quality of information, but learn along the way. Tomorrow, our academic conference is unmatched by any others. You will hear over the course of the weekend from over 40 people from seven different countries. It is ex exciting. Nothing happens alone in a vacuum. So on Saturday night, we will honor many people who have made our work possible. But for a brief second, I just want you to look back at a 2005 slide. This was our first conference. And as we reflect on where we were and where we've, how far we've come, I think we can all celebrate and recognize we have helped to make change happen. Art has always been important to ADIO. In fact, you'll hear later today from Julie Gunlock, who's in this poster by Earl Daughter. You'll see how ADIO blends art and advocacy together to make our story stronger, to be heard, felt, shared, and remembered. When we think about remembering, our community has grown so much in the past 17 years. I wanna just briefly, many more people have passed away since our last April 2019 conference, but I wanna to just touch on these seven names. Dr. Eula Bingham, Dr. Morris Greenberg, Paul Handley, Anna Marie Kearns, Mike Mattmuller, Ann Strickland, and Nigo from Brazil all have had loud voices for asbestos prevention and of course a ban. Knowing that this weekend, as I mentioned, we have eight countries. We have come so far since we first, our very first asbestos conference in Washington, DC, Australia, Belgium, Canada, Brazil, Nigeria, Portugal, the UK and the US all joined together because we stand where knowledge and action unite. Our conference speakers are the best in the world. And we hope that when the program is published tomorrow, you'll take a minute to get to know our speakers and then follow their work. The honorees that you'll see in the program will also inspire you. There are eight people that we will be honoring tomorrow night at our award ceremony that begins at 4.30 Eastern time. That being said, Julie Gunlock, my dear friend, she is going to deliver a keynote speech today. Julie's voice is loud and bold and passionate, and you will learn from Julie, but her story will be something you will carry with you forever. I know I do. This doesn't happen alone, and it does take dollars. Although we work from a very frugal home office, uh, our sponsors believe in our work. And I want to take this opportunity to thank our leading platinum sponsor, the Simmons Henley Conroy Firm. They have been with us for over 10 years. Our gold sponsor this year is the Gory Law Firm. And then, of course, our silver is Sweeney Lucarelli sorry, early Sweeney Lucarelli and Meisen Coton as our silver sponsor. Our sponsors recognize our work is important. They do not get any legal referrals from making a donation, but they get the goodwill and can tell their clients that they believe in what ADO is doing in the United States and around the world. 
Uh, our work happens because we have leaders at the helm. Uh, Ellen uh, uh, Costa will be the PM moderator. And you can see from the screen that ADO is fueled by passionate and dedicated and smart people. Today, Christine Olive, Dr. Oliver is going to be the morning moderator for the film festival. And then Ellen will pick up the baton this afternoon. But you can see by the three boards that ADO has established that we have leadership that is unmatched by anyone else. We're quite proud and we're most importantly, we are grateful.